Family sees something in the lake, realizes what it is, and has to act fast. Adam can feel his heartbeat in his throat. He steers the boat smoothly along the calm lake and looks back at his wife for reassurance. But she was just as confused as him. What was the dark object in the water? Was it a rock or a dog that had swum too far from its family? But there was no other family on the lake. They were all alone. And then, suddenly, the object moved, and a terrible feeling hit the pit of his stomach. The Johnson family loved nothing more than adventure. Whether they were hiking up mountains, riding 500-foot roller coasters, or swimming with all the ocean's aquatic residents, the family of four thrived on adrenaline and thrills. But nothing could have prepared them for this. It was a warm summer day when the Johnsons set off for their weekend getaway. They'd rented out a stunning lodge near an even more stunning lake and had planned to go fishing while fully embracing the outdoors. But as they drove to their safe haven, the Johnson family had no idea what was in store for them. The family had been driving for a few hours, and the youngest of the group, Richie, needed a bathroom break. So without hesitation, Dad Adam pulled up to a nearby gas station. Richie's mom, Angela, got out of the car and accompanied her son to the bathroom while Adam stayed in the car with daughter Shayla. But just as Adam turned up the radio, he saw something across the road. It was a lamppost, and it had a poster on it with some information that alarmed him. Adam got out of the car and made his way to the lamppost. Right there and then, a shiver went up his spine. On the poster, there were two words, caution, bears, accompanied by an eerie silhouette of a bear. Bears were pretty common in this neck of the woods, but something about this poster left an uneasy feeling in the pit of Adam's stomach. Adam dismissed these feelings of anxiety and got back in the car. Once his wife and son were back from the bathroom, he sped off straight to the lake. As the family sang along to the radio with the windows down and the sun beaming in, they reveled in the excitement but they had no idea what was coming for them. The family pulled into their home for the next few days, and it was just as gorgeous as the pictures online. The kids jumped out of the car and headed for the boat. Can we go fishing now, please? Richie begged. The family agreed, and they soon set off on their boat, eager to catch some fish. But just as the boat left shore, an uneasy feeling crept up in Adam's spine again. The fishing trip was a success, and even little Richie managed to catch one. The family headed back to shore, but just as they got near the dock, Richie shouted, Look over there! Adam's heart dropped at hearing his son cry out, and he turned around to see what he was pointing at. It was something in the water, a dark object floating. Adam thought it was a rock, until he saw it move. Adam's wife immediately assumed it was a dog who had swum too far from its family, but there was no other family on the shore. They were all alone. As the family moved their boat closer, they realized it wasn't a rock or a dog, it was something much more menacing and unexpected. Adam had his eyes transfixed on the danger headed their way. It couldn't be a log, could it? The lake was calm. There could be no way the log was being pulled so quickly by the current. There was no current. Adam became nervous and kept his eye on the mystery that lurched their way. Little by little, the thrashing water came closer and closer to the boat. Something put his whole body on alert. But why? Adam and the creature locked eyes, and he realized that it was an animal that was barely afloat. It was clearly struggling to keep its snout above the water. He knew he had to do something to help. This poor creature must have been incredibly tired from all the paddling, but before acting, he forgot to check one painful fact. Once they'd gotten a closer look, the Johnson family realized that the animal was, in fact, a young bear that was swimming across the lake. It was struggling to breathe and had a plastic dome stuck on its head. The family knew they had to help this animal. They were determined to rescue it and bring it back to shore safe and alive. But this was no easy feat. As the container filled up with more and more water, the poor bear seemed to get even more disoriented and exhausted. The Johnson family had to do whatever they could to help release the ball from the bear's head. But it wasn't easy. The bear was panicking. They had to be quick. Time was running out. The plastic cheese ball jar was firmly wedged around the bear's neck. The only way to get it off would be to get dangerously close to its teeth and claws. Adam edged the boat closer, trying not to scare the animal off. But the frightened bear immediately began to paddle in the opposite direction, and the dome on its head began to fill faster. What could they do? Adam circled the boat around the bear once more, hoping to trap him. But the bear, sensing danger, was just too quick. After a few unsuccessful tries, he managed to get close enough to the bear to touch him. But now he was faced with another problem. What would happen once they'd freed the panicked animal? 
Adam checked his pockets for something to pry the ball off with. He considered whether the wildlife rescue crew or police would arrive in time. In the end, neither would get the job done because he looked at his phone and he had no service. There was only one option left for Adam, and he wasn't too happy about it. Pulling up alongside the bear once more, he cut the motor and leaned as far off the bow as he dared. The last thing he wanted was to be trapped in the water with a frightened bear. He knew it was now or never. He grabbed the cheese ball container firmly with both hands and pulled, dragging the bear along with the boat while he shook the container from side to side. Thankfully, a few seconds later, the ball slid off the bear's neck and released his head. Adam fell back onto the boat and let out a sigh of exhaustion and relief. He wiped the sweat from his forehead as he watched the bear swim off back to where he had intended to go, back to his family. The family uploaded the incredible video of the daring rescue onto Facebook, where they were overwhelmed with the response they received. Just a few days later, the video already had more than 12,000 shares and 617,000 likes. And the comments are still streaming in, but whatever happened to the unlucky bear after he was rescued? There were reports that a bear cub and its mother had been spotted by hikers in the area. Adam knew in his heart that it was the little cub he had saved, finally reunited with its mother. But Adam was lucky. Had the mom seen Adam with her cub, it's likely that he would have been viciously attacked. The presence of a bear is dangerous, but the danger intensifies when a human comes near mother's cubs.